In the past two weeks, a lot of Godzilla x Kong The New Empire TV spots have made their way online. Oh, and I mean a lot. As of now, we've got 13 TV spots and counting. But today, we will be taking a close look at Wave 2 of these TV spots since I already covered Wave 1 in my last video. There's a lot to cover here, so without wasting any more time, let's take a look at these new Godzilla x Kong The New Empire TV spots. Let's start with the TV spot titled The New Kingdom. The TV spot starts with Kong literally being yeeted at a building. If you zoom in at the right moment, Shimo can actually be seen. Shimo probably tail whipped Kong through the entire city of Rio. Then we get a new shot of Eileen and Gia. Gia says he's hurt, obviously referring to Kong. And yeah, he sure is hurt. Then we get extended footage of Scar King's fight with Kong. We get a slightly extended shot of Scar King yielding his whip. The only thing new here in this extended shot is that we can see more of the crystal that is placed at the tip of his whip. Then we see Kong about to hit Scar King with his axe, but Scar King dodges his axe and does a backflip in the process. In the middle of Scar's backflip, he uppercuts Kong with his legs. This is one of the only times Scar has actually been shown getting the upper hand on Kong. This shot also shows how agile the Scar King really is. Scar looks to be more of a skilled fighter while Kong is more muscular, strong, and bulkier. The next piece of footage we see is probably the money shot out of all the TV spots released so far. Godzilla and Kong are shown running really fast in the Hollow Earth. This is of course a continuation of the running scene shown in almost every TV spot and every trailer. Godzilla then gives a really small nod to Kong, signaling him to get on his back. Kong jumps onto Godzilla and holds one of Godzilla's dorsal plates to support himself. Now how in the world, and Hollow Earth, is Godzilla able to withstand Kong on his back? Well, this is probably just the insane physics that is present in the Hollow Earth. And Godzilla is probably strong enough in his evolved form to withstand Kong's weight. The same scene from the other TV spots is shown of Godzilla rising up from the ice. For more on that scene and wave one of these TV spots, check out this video here. But that about wraps up all of the new scenes in this TV spot that I haven't covered in my last video. Let's move on to the next one. The first new piece of footage shown here is a shot of Suko and Kong touching each other's fingers. And I really like this moment. This is of course the first time Kong has met with another one of his species ever since his first moments on Earth. So this will be a really important scene for Kong. A new shot of the Hollow Earth Iwi tribe's crystal temple is shown, and it looks like our main characters are entering this temple for the first time. This shot looks really cool and is very well lit. An extended shot of Geo walking up the temple is shown. Then we get a new scene of Zuko looking out of Kong's hand. I think that there are two things that could possibly be happening here. Either Suko is scared of Scar King, or maybe even another Titan, or Kong is holding Suko and using them as a weapon against the other apes attacking him. But other than those theories, I really don't know what's happening in this shot or what Suko is afraid of. Then we get a slightly new piece of dialogue with a piece of footage. Bernie says the same Kong can't stop this on his own line that he said in the other trailers. But Eileen's response is sort of different. She says he won't be on his own. In the new shot, it looks like the main characters are in the Iwi tribe temple and there's something in the carved pictures on the wall. And one of them suspiciously is in the shape of, spoiler warning, Mothra. So now it's even more confirmed that Mothra will be in this film and that she will be summoned in the Iwi temple. This room will also probably be where the origins of the titans and their connection to humans is revealed. I mean, it did say that in the synopsis for the film. The scene of Godzilla charging up his atomic breath is shown as Trapper says, Godzilla, saying that Kong could team up with Godzilla to defeat Shimo and Scar King. The next new thing is an extended scene of Suko hitting one of the great apes in Scar King's army. We can actually see Kong in the shot and it looks like he's dodging the falling ape. We get a scene of Kong roaring and he looks very angry. I think Scar King might have angered him in some way. Scar might have harmed Suko or maybe another Kong in the army. Let's move on to the next one. This TV spot finally shows Kong's ability with the Beast Glove. The footage at the beginning is pretty much the same footage we've seen of Kong wielding his Beast Glove but is now extended. After Kong roars with his Beast Glove high in the air, he punches the ground with it, triggering an electric impact. This isn't the first time we've seen Kong having electric powers in this movie. In the second trailer when Kong punches through a building that Scar King threw at him, an electric spark can be seen. But this shot is the clearest shot of his new ability we have so far. And that wraps up the breakdown for Wave 2 of the Godzilla x Kong The New Empire TV spots. We are only 19 days from this movie releasing in the US and 17 days from it releasing internationally. So now is the time to get hyped. And with that being said, subscribe and stomp that like button because I have a lot of breakdowns coming here on the channel soon so you're not gonna want to miss them. Bye bye.